Quit not asking the right questions, right? Quit avoiding asking. Mm. There's, there's one main question here. Most buyers fall, I do four different personality styles when I talk to salespeople, but for this, let's just do two. The two biggest, most common buying styles are the relators. They're the people that want to connect with you and have a relationship with you, and I want you in my life for the long haul. And, you know, and then there's the bottom line people. I, I don't want to know you at all. I don't want to be your friend. I just want to buy your product or I want to buy your service, and I want the statistics and the charts and the prices and the graphs and when is it going to be shipped. Well, as salespeople, we fall into these two categories either. You know, I'm very much a relator, salesperson. I, I hug people, I want to get to know them, I want to learn about their families, I want to know what they want. And, um, and so what was happening is I was closing deals with other relators because I'm getting offered a small talk and asking things about your family. But I wasn't closing deals with bottom line people. For, for bottom line people, I'm overwhelming, I'm too much. They're sick of me talking, they don't want invasive questions, they think I'm interrogating them. And so it took me a long time to realize that as good as my personality is for half the world, for the other half of the world, it's annoying and they don't, they don't want to be around me. So that's what I teach salespeople. I said, first of all, know which one you are. Are you more the relator, get to know, you want to be their friend, or are you more the bottom line? Most of us sell the way we want to be sold to. So we sell to our own. Relators are selling in a relatable way without any regard to what the buyer is. And bottom line people are selling without any regard. So I'm teaching people a way to figure out. And there's one question that's going to do that. And this is like the million dollar question right here. The question is, is let's say you and I are going to meet tomorrow. What I would say to you is, Dan, you and I have a meeting tomorrow. I'm really excited to share this opportunity or product with you. A couple ways we could do this. Um, I could come by around 10, maybe even a little earlier. I know you're probably very busy. I can give you all the facts and the figures, give you some charts, give you some pictures, catalogs to look for, tell you why it will benefit you. Be out of your hair in less than 15 minutes. Or I could pick you up around noon. We could go to a restaurant. We can have some lunch, some dinner, get to know each other a little bit better. And then when you're ready, we can start talking business. If I would just, if every salesperson would start asking that question, they would increase their sales, I think, by 20, 30 mm percent, -hmm. without a doubt. Because that one question is telling me what kind of buyer you are. Mm -hmm. And I'm the relator. And so if I hear, oh, stop for lunch, okay, I'm good. I don't have to watch my personality. I, I do just be me. Mm -hmm. But if you come back with, uh, no, can you come a little bit early? In fact, I have two other meetings, and I'm, and they're going to even be a little annoyed that you ask the question. Um, I have a lot of meetings. I have things to go to. I have things to do. Um, just show up. Then, as a relator, I need to shut up. I need to get there a little early because you expect me early. I, there is no hugging. There's no sitting close to you. There's no asking you about your vacation or your family, and I better have all my ducks in a row because you're going to want to know the facts and the figures and the benefits, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And when I'm done, I leave. If you are the bottom line person and you ask the question and you hear, oh my goodness, that would be great, come and get me around lunch. There's a great little tea garden. I think it's closed now. Well, maybe it's closed. My aunt used to go there. She died of cancer, but when she was alive, we used to go. When you hear that, suck it up, take a deep breath, take a course on acting like you care, <laughs> okay? Because you don't, okay? Related. Bottom line people don't really care about the person. They care about the sale. And you're going to have to cancel your next two appointments, and you're going to have to meet with me. And you're going to have to make small talk and act like it's okay, and you're going to have to eat something because we don't like to eat alone. We want to make sure you're eating with us. So sales is not about us being comfortable. It's not you being always the bottom line guy or me being always the relator. It's about us being willing to listen to what the buyer wants and being willing to adjust our style of selling so that they're comfortable. And if we can do that, put our ego aside, um, the deals we can close will be amazing. Mm. But it's uncomfortable to stretch and do a new strategy. Oh yeah. If you're the bottom line guy, you don't want to eat. You haven't eaten for five days. You're like a camel. You have no bodily functions that anyone knows of. Mm. I mean, you're just so driven. And if I'm the, the relator, I, I don't want to come for 15 minutes. I mean, I really want to hug you and I want to <laughs> learn about you. And so yes, 
we're going to be uncomfortable. But the way it is now is the salespeople are making the buyer uncomfortable. The salesperson's always doing it their way. Mm -hmm. Well, no, that's that's if any someone's going to be uncomfortable half the time, and it never should be the buyer. Yeah, 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 never yeah. should be the buyer. We're the ones that need to be uncomfortable, and that's part of being in sales.